Hey, happy Friday, one and all, and welcome to America's favorite Friday Fun Fest, the Friday Funnies. Well, the race for president is heating up quite a bit, which is causing sweating and fainting. And it's a, it's a close race right now because most of the voters cannot decide who they hate the least. And it seems like the perfect time to give you a few more reasons to vote for me. Hashtag Dale for POTUS. You know, the health of the candidates is a top priority right now because we don't want to elect any sicko to the highest office in the land. So this week, Donald Trump disclosed his health report on the Dr. Oz show. So, so I thought it would be fitting for me to, to reveal my health report via Dr. Seuss. He does not eat green eggs and ham. It keeps his cholesterol on the lamb. He has a good pulse in the lungs of a singer. He has a trick knee and a bent little finger. Like a real American, his blood is deep red. He's no vegetarian, but a real meathead. So there you have it, my full health report. You know, the health of humanity is so important that this week the Friday Funnies want to focus on our friends, the animals and see how they are causing a ruckus. You know, slapping a person, that's a way to demonstrate that you're angry with them. But when you get slapped by a fish, then you got some real problems. Lisa Lobrie was on the way to her exercise class in Philadelphia when a catfish fell out of the sky and slapped her in the face. You talk about a sign, huh? The fish weighed about five pounds, left quite the mark on Lisa, not to mention the emotional scar of being assaulted by a fish. Apparently, the catfish was dropped by a large bird, which means the bird was also in on the attack. So if I were Lisa, I think I would avoid eating either fish or birds for the near future and stick to beef or pork, because the chances of getting hit by either a flying cow or the proverbial flying pig are very, very slim. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of snakes. In fact, they, they tend to spook the hell out of me, so I'm glad I do not live in the Carolinas right now. Because in Ware Shoals, South Carolina, a schoolroom was closed after five snakes were discovered in the classroom. I mean, that's got to be quite the hindrance to learning, unless it was a math class and the snakes were adders. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Salisbury, North Carolina, a woman found a snake in her dishwasher. Now, if a snake can get in the dishwasher, it's only a matter of time before they make their way to the sink, the oven, the toaster, anything. Apparently, the snakes have become have, have begun rather a reptile revolution in the Carolinas. So if you live there, I would highly suggest that you travel out of state to use the toilet. <laughs> The Center for Disease Control has issued another warning this week, and they highly suggest that we heed this one. They found out that kissing a chicken can lead to contracting salmonella. Ironically, kissing a salmon will not give you chicken pox, but that's another story. I want to know what kind of a person kisses a chicken. I've never met a chicken kisser in my life, but I'm betting these are the same people who were warned as kids not to play with your food. And now that they're adults, they're going to play with it before they eat it. Well, that's it for another week, my friends. Go out, enjoy your, week, your weekend, and please, please, don't kiss any chickens.